Miniature painting is a big passion of mine, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't like showing off the work that I've put into the hobby. Up to this point, though, all of my models have been hidden away. Why? Because dust is a bitch. Welcome, Traveler. My name is Blake Rea, and this is Love, Death, and Dice. Before we dive into the episode, check out the new freaking studio! I would actually love to do a video about a studio tour and how I built it and why I built it the way I did. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. This week, I'm turning a cheap IKEA cabinet into a sleek, spacious, and most importantly, dustproof display cabinet. How else am I gonna trick my friends into playing Warhammer if they can't see my minis and get hobby envy? I'm using a Rudsta. It's got plenty of shelving and feels industrial like the rest of my studio. It's also mainly metal, meaning I can move houses without much worry of hurting myself or it breaking. Follow the instructions in the included manual up until it asks you to start putting on the side panels. We'll need to dustproof each of these panels before fixing them in place. When everything is built, you can see a little gap in the frame. This is where dust and, if you're like me, cat fur can seep into the cabinet. There are a couple different flavors of dustproofing depending on your needs, each with their own little quirks. One option is weather fur strips. This is great for doors because they can compress as the hinge moves. Foam lining can also do this, it's just a tighter fit and tends to compress over time. I like this method, but the main issue with weather stripping is that it sheds, which is a huge pain. My preferred method is foam strips. They're cheaper and tend to look a lot cleaner. Whatever your preference, installing either of these is the same. Take these strips and line the gaps between panels using the adhesive backing. The crucial part is that it needs to completely seal the space, leaving no gaps. For the top and bottom parts of the panel, I used a thicker strip, while for the side panels, I used a thinner strip. Both of the measurements and materials are linked below. There are these little pegs and pieces of extruded metal built into the panels. Simply cut the strips to make room for them. Get that cut as close as possible, though, to leave as little a gap as possible. Once your strips are in, you can finish assembling the cabinet. If you're super paranoid about dust, or if the foam doesn't seal perfectly in certain areas because you stretched it, you can also line the cabinet with something like black gaffer tape. This is mainly meant for film production and is kind of pricey, but it doesn't leave behind any sticky residue and has a matte finish, keeping the look of your display clean. Place on the shelves and line up those beautiful models and boom, you've got a dustproof display. Now that your minis have a dustproof home where everybody can see, hopefully your friends will be convinced to join our little plastic cult. I mean, hobby. See you next time.